Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. I am so excited about today's new cake recipe. I'm going to show you how to make the dreamiest, the creamiest and fluffiest raspberry tiramisu cake with delicate vanilla sponge cake layers, a creamy custard tiramisu filling, fresh raspberries and a raspberry liqueur. This cake has it all. It is so beautiful, so delicious and so perfect for the holiday season, but really you can enjoy it any time of the year. For today's recipe, I'm using two of my back to cake basics series recipes. I'm going to be using my vanilla sponge cake recipe and my vanilla pastry cream. I made this last night and let it cool completely. I'm going to include those recipes along with this recipe down in the video description box below. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this incredible cake. And I already have my vanilla sponge cake baked, cooled, and ready to go. I used the recipe with two 8-inch cake pans, and I'm going to use a long serrated knife to split the layers in half so I have four layers total. Next, I'm going to get started on my filling. So I have eight ounces of cream cheese that I've softened to room temperature. I'm gonna grab my mixer and mix the cream cheese for a couple minutes until it's nice and smooth. Next, into the cream cheese, I'm going to add in one cup of confectioner's sugar, two cups of chilled heavy cream. You wanna make sure it's really nice and cold so that it whisks up nicely and about a tablespoon of raspberry liqueur. I'm going to grab my mixer and start out on a low speed so that that heavy cream doesn't go everywhere. And then once it's nicely incorporated, I'm going to turn up the speed to a medium high and whisk for about three to four minutes until stiff peaks form. And today I'm going to be adding just a little bit of gelatin to help set the cake. I'm going to pour in two tablespoons of water into a small ramekin. I'm going to add one packet of unflavored gelatin, that's two and a half teaspoons. Drop that in. I'm gonna give this a stir and then I'll take this over to the microwave. I'm going to heat it for about 30 to 40 seconds until that gelatin is completely dissolved. This mixture is gonna be extra hot, so be really careful when you handle it. And you don't want your gelatin to cool, you wanna use it while it's still hot and straight out of the microwave. Otherwise, as it cools, it's going to clump. Just pour it into the whipped cream, grab your mixer and mix it in. And now that I have my whipped cream and cream cheese mixture all ready to go, I am ready to fold in my vanilla pastry cream. So I made a batch of this last night. It is so incredibly delicious. It's the perfect filling for cakes and desserts. And I just let this cool completely. You wanna make sure that you cover it with plastic wrap so a film doesn't form on the outside. And now we're ready to add it. I'm gonna add in a little bit at a time and then just gently fold it in. And now it's time to put this incredible raspberry cake together. I'm going to be assembling the cake into an eight inch spring form pan and I wanted the sides to be a little bit taller than the pan. So I'm using an acetate cake collar on the sides. I'm going to include this product up on my website. So make sure to check it out if you do wanna get some of this. I also measured out about half a cup of some raspberry liqueur. You can use more or less, or if you don't wanna add alcohol, you can use some kind of like fruity raspberry type of juice. I also have a little bit of raspberry jam. We're going to be spreading between the layers and I have a big bowl of fresh raspberries. I want to add them in between every layer for the maximum raspberry flavor. I'm going to start by dropping one of my sponge cake layers into the bottom of the pan and that's going to be our base. I'm gonna grab some of this raspberry liqueur and just gently brush it over the layer. And feel free to add as much or as little raspberry liqueur as you would like. It's just gonna add so much great flavor. Next, I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of raspberry preserves and spread them evenly to the edges. Next, I'll add in about a cup of my tiramisu filling. Spread that filling evenly to the edges. And now I'm going to add my raspberries. I'm going to add them in a single layer right over the cream. 
and then we'll add more cream on top to really seal them in there. And I'm going to add in my next sponge cake layer. And we'll repeat the same process for the next two layers. So soak them well with the raspberry liqueur, add some raspberry jam, add some cream, some raspberries, and some more cream. And then for my final sponge cake layer, I actually soaked it with the raspberry liqueur first. Now I'm going to invert it onto the top of the cake. And that way that top layer also has some incredible flavor. And I'm going to add my remaining cream on top. Spread this cream evenly to the edges. And I'm going to arrange more fresh raspberries on top. And this beautiful raspberry tiramisu is ready for the refrigerator. I'm going to let it chill in the fridge overnight so that filling can set up nicely and all those layers can come together. You guys are going to love the flavors of this cake. We're gonna come back tomorrow to unwrap the cake and see what it looks like on the inside. My raspberry tiramisu cake has set in the refrigerator overnight, so now it's time to see what it looks like without the springform pan and the plastic. And before I remove the plastic, I'm actually going to transfer the cheesecake onto my cake stand. And to do this, I'm just going to slide a flat spatula underneath and then transfer onto the cake stand. And then we'll gently peel back this plastic. And you can leave the cake just as it is, but if you want to add a little bit more garnish, you could add some lady fingers onto the sides. So I'm just going to go around the edges of the cake and they'll stick quite easily and just gently press them in. And to make this cake extra special for the holiday season, I'm going to add a beautiful ribbon, and this is optional. I think it's just gonna add something extra special to the cake. And now for the best part, let's cut into this cake to see what it looks like on the inside. You'll wanna use a, a nice long, sharp knife since this is such a tall cake. And how stunning is this cake? I absolutely love all the layers on the inside. You have these whole raspberries and then you have the delicate sponge cake layers and then those thick layers of creamy tiramisu filling. This is going to be so, so delicious. And that's it for my raspberry tiramisu cake. I absolutely love how it turned out, especially on the inside. It looks so pretty with those layers of the tiramisu filling, the sponge cake, the berries. This cake is epic. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I'll have a link there that'll take you over to my website so you can print this recipe off and share it with your family and friends. And now time to dig in and enjoy. And this cake is so pretty. It's almost too pretty to eat, almost. I'm going to grab some of the sponge cake, some of the tiramisu filling, a couple fresh raspberries. It's gonna be an epic bite. This looks so amazing. Mmm, mm-hmm. 
This cake is just, wow, hands down one of my favorite raspberry cakes ever. It is so incredibly creamy, fluffy, and delicious. You guys are going to love it from the very first bite. That creamy tiramisu filling is something else. It's my go-to recipe for all of my tiramisu recipes, just so light and fluffy, and then you combine it with a delicate sponge cake. It's soaked up all that raspberry liqueur. You have the raspberry jam, the fresh raspberries, Everything combined together is just heavenly. This cake is so perfect for special occasions, for the holidays, or really any time that you're craving for a delicious cake. I'm actually gonna go take this over to my neighbors and they're gonna love me even more for it because it's such a delicious cake. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a new recipe.